We're gonna focus today on a trend, short hair, a little bit messy, kind of a mop top. Uh, today we're gonna focus on the wet mop and the difference in that, I'm gonna go a little bit longer with the sides and uh, just make it a little more shaggy. So we're gonna start off sectioning and in the sectioning, I wanna keep it very simple. I don't like to over section anything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a U shape on the head. I'm gonna work from about middle of the eyebrow here. So that's where I'm gonna start my U shape. I'm gonna work a U through the crown in the back. I'm able to take that section so simple uh, because I already combed everything in that direction. So you really wanna make sure that you work around the head and comb the hair in that direction first. So I've got the hair flowing in that direction. I go right from that mid crown and I work my way around. Not perfect but it's okay. So this one right above the eyebrow, I'm actually gonna clean that up just a little bit like that. And then come over to this side. And this side is too low. I need to go to the middle of the eyebrow. So I just continue my line through the middle of the eyebrow. Up. Oh, that's pretty good. So I twist that away and clip it. And honestly, that could be the only sectioning you do for this cut. Just separating top and bottom. I don't even have to really separate front and back because I'm going to be working a round shape all the way around the head. We're going to be doing it clipper over comb. I really love working clipper over comb. It's just a faster way to work. And we're going to work off of the face. I'm going to change my mind because I'm allowed to work forward towards the face because we did off the face last time and I really want to kind of showcase that texture going towards the face. All right, so I got babyless clipper here. I'm going to go all the way closed with the clipper so it's as close to the comb as possible. So I want the clipper to go directly against the comb and flat on the comb. So just like this, you can see the little bevel here of how the blade kind of works in. So when I say flat, I don't mean this part, I mean flat this part, okay? So not flat this part flat this part and work it across the comb just like that. Go in and out, it should glide right across. So now combing the hair towards the face at the ear, scoop this hair up and I'm gonna work towards the face, running my clipper along the comb. So I scoop it back up, scoop it, and a lot of this, I might just try to get some of the bulk off first, then go through and really define what I want that shape to look like. Same thing here. So I'll comb the hair forward, basically separating where I want to scoop and part. I scoop and work down the hair shaft. And I'll leave some of this fringier hair around the edges to mess around with later. Do the same thing on the opposite side. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow dry the bottom. I should plug it in. When you plug in your blow dryer, you get a much better result. So I blow dry this around his head, work it towards the front. And this isn't, this isn't for the end style guys, this is for the haircut because I'm gonna re-wet it because we're going for a wet mop top for the haircut portion because I can already see where the weight builds up a little bit there. Um, I want to dry it. We just did a quick, rough clip over comb, just remove some weight, and now I really want to fine tune it, okay? So let me go through, and I'm doing the same thing. So we're cutting forward towards the face, but now we're just fine tuning all the little bits that maybe we missed in the uh, wet cut. And this fringy hair up front, I'm going to go scissor a detail work on that. Now I'm working horizontal on the back. Just to line everything up, give it a nice shape back here. Still thinking of this as a line. I'm working horizontal here, but my line looks like this, coming straight up from the head. You can see the head shape peels away right here. As I work, watch, cut, cut. My comb comes out to the same spot as I work. 
And then naturally, because of the line that I'm creating, starts to work even more away from the head because the head starts to peel away in the crown. So the head's starting to move. I'm coming straight up still because this is my line, right? So this hair gets longer and showcases the head shape. So we build up a little bit of weight and showcase that. This edge here all has a little bit of weight because that's where the curve is. That's okay, you want that weight, but I just, I want to take out a little bit of bulk without actually elevating it anymore. So I'll work diagonal into the hair, just like this, all the way around. Take some of that weight out. I'm just working, the weight line was all through here, so that's where I'm sliding in at a diagonal, I'm just removing some of that weight. I'll do a little point cutting in the crown. This, I'm gonna bring back to life. Let me work the sideburns real quick and I'll go, I'm just gonna go right onto this sideburn and go a little closer to the head. You could even comb up this hair that I don't want to work into it and put a Velcro clip. Velcro clips are awesome. So then that way I'm only working on the little area that I wanna work on. Expose his ear just a little bit. Then I take that out and I've still got that texture over top of it, but nice cleaned up area. This from the get go, I just part it, lift it, and then you slide the Velcro clip in, holds the hair. Now, we'll let out the top. And it'll already start to get a little mop topish. I'm gonna go scissor here. I also feel like I would go try razor too, but I I don't want to overcomplicate this cut with using too many tools today. The center point is in the cowlick. So I comb everything around that cowlick in the direction that it's going to be worn. And we are going to work pie shape sections in the back. So this is one, then we go two, then we go three, then we go four to halfway. And we go two, three, four to halfway. That's the back. All of that is traveling and we're working our way around. So what I'll do is I'll take section one, I connect it to the underneath part of what we cut previously, and I cut that. Then I take section one and I bring it over to section two. When I grab section two, I comb section one to section two, and I cut that there. Then I drop section one off back at its house, right? I bring section two over to section three's house. That cut it. Then I drop section two off at its house, bring three to four's house, right? And we cut it there. And that's how we're gonna work through this whole entire back section of the cut. Vertical section, section one, tying it into section two, and I'm going to use point cutting to give myself a little bit of texture. Section one is going to be brought over section two, that point cut, drop section one off. Section three, comb it out, bring two over top of three, cut it, point cut, two back where it lives, and then finish off section four. Like that. Same thing on the opposite side. I'm going to cut over top of my fingers though for this one. So section one, I'm combing over to section two. Top is simple. I wanna keep a lot of this length and I wanna keep most of the length in the middle of this haircut. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, if you imagine taking a, a parting along the top and bringing everything over to this point. And you should be able to see if you take a little bit less. Let me see. I'm gonna take a little less so you can really get an idea of what I'm talking about. We're gonna work a stationary guide here. But look through here. See how you see a little bit thicker? Right here, you can see that line underneath. That's where you're gonna cut it. I'm gonna work. And remember, this line is gonna continue like this not like this, and it's working away from the head shape, you'll get your length. You need that length for it to be the mop top. So think about that. As you go into cut, you want 
that length in the front here. So I take another section across. And what's happening now as I'm moving up the head, taking hair from further away and bringing it further away from where it lives to cut it. So what's that gonna do? It's going to create length. So that longest point is now working its way to the other side. The same thing on this side, guys. Click or bring it over. See your guide underneath. Point cut. And work that line. So see all that length that we get? What I notice that most kids are looking for is they want it to be not in their eyes. They want it to be just above it. I like to go with the wet cut and they're gonna kind of wear it wet. So don't pull too much tension down. Just come into it, light tension. I'm using wide teeth of the comb. And then I just kind of go a little bit to the eye and then I'll lift up a little bit and I'll just start point cutting into it straight across the bridge of the nose. Because no matter what, if I hold that in my hand, it's still pulled flat. You can see how flat it is right there. When I start to kind of mess this up a little bit and add that little bit, this is what they do, they kind of rough their hair up, work through it, scrunch it a little bit. They'll even take their hand and kind of just mess into it a little bit. So then you can see where it starts to rest, right? It starts to rest above the eye. So you have to like take that into consideration because if you don't, all of a sudden, their hair is gonna be too short. So one product I'm really loving for this wet look, Maverick Grooming Cream. This product is perfect for this look, whether you are going to wear it dry or you're going to wear it wet. If you put it in your wet hair, you're gonna get more of a wet look. If you put it in your dry hair, it'll just give you a little bit of a textured look. Work that into my hands. We're gonna work that, scrunch it into the hair. Let me give you, show you the whole result. Here. 